Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Legends Arcus. Why not Arcus? Um I got a little gibble. So cute. Anyways, um we might go We want to go this way. Um. Don't want to run into you. How lovely, it was poison. Oh, that was a satchel! What's the big idea of putting back all those torches? I spent ages ti tidying away. Do you get some sort of amusement stopping around and ruining people's noble deeds? Oh, rendering a cave impassable to people who venture inside hardly seems noble to me. Hmm. Well, it just goes to show that even we wardens don't always see eye to eye. You're such- oh my god. I extinguish those lights for the sake of the Pokemon in the cave who prefer the dark. But now you lots have put my efforts to waste. If you think I'll just let you saunter ahead to meet Lord Electrode, you're sorely mistaken. The only way you're getting past me is if you defeat my partner Pokemon. How will you proceed, Blue? Let's go. Whatever. Really a skunk tank? Ew. No, I don't want to send out Gibble. Okay, at least it didn't die. Let's go, Gudra. a lot of recoil damage though. Listen here, neither I nor Skunk take admit defeat just yet. Our challenge is still still stands. However, I will withdraw to afford stunt st skunk tank some time to recover. There's no shame in a tactical retreat. It's more of an advance, if you think about it. Keep your guard up, we'll be back. Really? What a lively character. I cannot fathom Warden Melee's intentions, but for now, let us press on. Ah! I'm being attacked! Let's evolve the Gibble! Nice. I got it. Yeah, bye.
A. Um. This is the ancient quarry. The stones used to build the temple atop of this mound were all cut from this place. Whether by humans or Pokemon working as one, or by the labor of Pokemon alone, I cannot say. The stones that were left behind should serve the cover of us, the co to cover us from the gazes of wild Pokemon. Ah, uh, there you are, Ingo. Oh, it's Ingo! What's up? Volo. Oh, wait. No, it's Volo. Volo, what's it? What's the matter, sir? Wait, you're a guy? I thought you were a girl. <laughs> Whoops. I want to ask about the memory loss of yours. Have you considered that it could have some could have somehow been caused by the space-time rift? I have no cause to think the rift is to blame. But then again, I hardly remember a thing. So it's difficult to say this cer with certainty. I can't remember my own home nor my family if I had any. If you might do better to pose your questions to Blue, I think if it's to do with that rift. Indeed. Well, I hope your memories return, Warden Ingo. No, you're Ingo. You're Volo. Okay. How about you then, Blue? Do you remember what you saw before you fell out of the rift? Was there anything inside? Interesting. You see, personally, I suspect that what, whatever is on the other side of that rift is causing the strange lightning to plague us. Makes sense. Indeed. I did some digging and found records indicating that this space-time rift also appeared in Hisui in the distant past. That's why we already had a name for it as it appeared. In fact, now, what kind of world do you suppose stretches out on the other side of the rift? Hang on, let me see more. My guess is that it is Almighty Sinnoh's realm. But then that begs the question, why has the space-time rift, rift reopened when it closed once? so long ago. And why would Blue have fallen through to us? There's just so much we don't know. I fervently hope to unravel this mystery, Volo. I'm sure it would ease people's fears over the frenzies of our nobles. And well... Oh, oh god. Yawn. And while you investigate, sir, I'll continue to pro prioritize the safety of the people living in this world. Oh, I am a mere admirer of the runes, and a little more. If something needs investigating, then I would entrust that, the task, that task to Blue. Until next time, then. Once we're through here, it will be just a little further. Let's move with speed, but not haste. It's a bronze ore. I was hoping to see more bronzors. Good.
Just looking around, you never know what might be here. It's snowing. Can I get up here. I indeed can. Am I? Jeez, what the heck? So small. I need one. An Ursaring? Ursaring? Teddy Ursa? Whoa! Something's opened on me. Shoot! Oh, 
Ah, you're part of the Galaxy team. I've been waiting. I came here since I heard all of you were playing the Seb camp. It seems not much progress has been made since the Bronzor is getting in the way. It's not Billy... Billy Gerrant, but it seems like it wants something so we can... We can't just ignore it either way. Oh. Just chillin' there. Hello! Looks like another bronzer. I saw bronzer. I saw bronzer go flying off in this direction all of a sudden. When the the bronzer, it's wounded. Oh no! This is no good at all. Here, I'll fix it right up. Oh, how cute! There, you should. That should do it. Bronzer should be used. Fit to fit on now. How fun! Seems the bronzer at the new campsite was looking for his friend the whole time. I'm glad you looked into it. Otherwise, we may have not. It may have been too late to treat this bronzer. This land is dangerous even for the Pokemon that call it their home. <coughs> I'm a little sick, so I'm like, uh. It may be wise to be extra prepared as you explore this area. I'll be sure to keep a fine lineup of where is stock for you, so please buy anything you need. And it, and it seems the base camp has been all set up while we were talking, in which case I am I should... Oh my god, I cannot read! I should get settled in as well. So long. Now by this giant gold bag. Whatever. And yeah, let's see what's in there. A cherubi. And it just. Oh, they're just gonna chill here now? Cute.
You never expect to be able to climb such sheer cliffs as these, yes. But with Sneasler as an ally, it becomes the work of a moment. She is so at home on a cliff face, one might think she knew some secret, some hidden move. What am I saying? Hidden moves? There are no such thing. Things in Hisui, surely. Yet I feel as though I was on the cusp of remembering something just now. Just who was I before I came to Hisui? If you fell from the sky, you come from another world altogether, most likely. Perhaps a Pokemon battle with you would jog this memory loss. Yes, I will honor you with a Pokemon battle. All aboard then, but choke prepare for departure. in a cool pose. <laughs> He's just like, what are you doing? We're battling. I was hoping I was hoping I could make a move It's so weird they just move out of your way. Scores are cool. Bravo, excellent. Nice. Your talent has brought you to the destination called Victory. Now allow me to call Sneasler. Allow me to introduce you, Blue. This King Clawed Pokemon is Sneasler. Would you be so kind as to play the flute for her to hear? Sneasler opened her heart and learned well the sound of your playing. Toxic plate. The Sneasler seems so sassy. I'm afraid this is my final stop. Oh. 
Please re- proceed up these cliffs with Sneasley's aid and quell the Lord up on, in the mountains. I will return to Jubilee Village. Please convey my well wishes to Warden Melee. Now then, all aboard. <laughs> this reminds me of freaking like Demon Slayer where they put where they put um I don't remember their names but they where they put his sister um because like they can't touch Sun in the in like a thing like this. Pokemon. Just our little eyes in there. It's so cute. Um. So weird that these exist in this world. Okay. Hang on. Nice.
Whoa, you can climb up trees? What? I love that. You do not see me. No. This episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out Discord, Instagram, yeah, all that stuff. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.